Hello again, it's me Natus, and today I've got another thing to show you. Uh, we're talking about Voxango Sound Delay. It's a free plugin, and I use it quite a lot actually when I'm making drums. So this is a bit more production focused, but it's a really, really helpful tool, uh, specifically when it comes to aligning the phase of different drum layers. So particularly when we're doing things like snares and kick drums, this is super important, um, especially the further down the timeline of the project you go when you're developing it, sort of in the later stage, you start doing uh, bus processing and things and adding uh, compression and distortion. And if the phase of those layers that you set up much earlier on is not absolutely bang on, often we lose the punch and it can be a heck of a lot of work once we've got tons of samples layered up and processed and arranged that we suddenly have to go back and shift them all in minute measures and that's just uh, not a good or fun experience. So best to avoid that, do this right at the start. Um, and yes, as I say, Voxengo Sound Delay, this free plugin is really, really helpful for this step. So. I've got um, a snare sample here. It's nice, it's from the Lensman pack. I really like it, it's got plenty of uh, rim um, and a nice tail on it. It's a good snare, but it doesn't really have the body and it doesn't feel quite acoustic enough for me. So I'm gonna put another sample in um, from a different pack. It sounds all right, actually. That sounds pretty passable. I probably wouldn't worry too much about this, but I can perhaps get it more in phase. That definitely doesn't feel like it's quite there. Sounds like almost there's a little bit of rumbling going on somewhere in that sample. So usually at this point, I go to my mixer and I find the phase invert button and I just check. Well, that definitely sounds worse. So I'm pretty confident this is mostly in phase. But here's the key thing. We wanna get every ounce of quality out of this sample and phase isn't just a, an on-off thing. It's, it's quite a continuous thing. And when a sample is out of phase, it's very rare that it's exactly 180 degrees out of phase. It might be uh, a bit more in a grayer area. So when we flip the phase with the phase invert button, we might not actually be inverting it quite as exactly and, and getting it quite as exactly in phase as we'd hope. Um, so this is where Voxango Sound Delay comes in. Now, what I'd normally do with this plugin, if, the, if it's not explanatory enough in itself, it delays the sound, um, which can help us with phase uh, issues. So the way I'd normally actually work with this is I'd actually try to make things sound as bad as possible, not as good as possible, because it's much, much easier to hear when something is completely out of phase than when something is completely in phase. And we have a handy uh, 180 degrees phase invert button, so we actually can just work with the out of phase stuff to begin with, and that's much, much easier to hear. So let's try and make it as bad as possible. So let's invert it for the start. It's already a lot less punchy. And when we're making it out of phase, you want to listen out for when the very fundamental tone of the snare and its layers are really quite quiet. And it's actually the overtones that are getting emphasized more, things like the octave and the fifth um, and the second octave, and even major third, things like that when they're out of phase, they start to resonate louder. Um, so let's have a listen. So I'm hearing that um, 
second partial, the octave above, mostly here. So this sounds pretty bad, and I would definitely not use this in a project. However, when we do the 180 degrees flip, it's now pretty solidly in phase. And it's a bit more exact than if we just left the sound delay out. And I'll show you the difference. It's actually quite noticeable, which is scary because initially I thought, you know, those samples, they sounded pretty together. But the amount of punch that you get from just doing this extra little step is incredible. Uh, and it will really, really help tighten up those drums so that you don't have to sort of um, manipulate them quite as much with compression and things. Or if you do want to do that, the samples carry through. They don't sort of disintegrate when you start trying to do stuff with them. I think the most obvious telltale uh, diagnosis of whether there's phase issues is when you start putting distortion on and you can hear warbling and beating between the samples. And so we want to avoid that. And this is a really great way to just quickly fix those phase problems as best as you can, uh, much better than just using the phase invert. So to recap, um, what you need to do is find your samples that you want to reconcile and then put sound delay on one of them and try and make the sound as bad as possible. You start hearing those upper harmonics rather than the lower ones. And it doesn't sound punchy, it sounds thin and not good. And then all you have to do is flip the phase uh, 180 degrees and then it'll be perfectly in phase. And uh, as I say, it's very helpful. Go check this out. You can get it on Splice, I think. That's where I got it from. But it's free. Just type it into Google, you'll find it, I'm sure. And if you want more tips like this, please uh, visit my website uh, where there's more information about lessons. And uh, we've been doing lots of this sort of thing, working on phase and splicing samples and um, getting drums sounding really, really nice. And that's been really, really fun to teach and to work with. And uh, yeah, if you want to find out more, just visit the link uh, below. Anyhow, this has been me. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.